Hey guys, for this selection box science experiment, we're going to make these homemade crystal stars for your Christmas tree. They're dead easy to make and there's some really interesting science going on. What we're going to do is uh, you need to grab some pipe cleaners like this. Um, I like using the white ones, they seem to show up best. Chop a pipe cleaner into quarters like that and then just take three of them and start to wrap them together. Just wrap them together like that and then one more goes in the middle. Wrap that round and then take a long pipe cleaner, wrap that around the centre of it and you've got yourself your star. Easy as that. Now what you then need to do is wrap it round a pencil. And then you sit that in the middle of a jar. Now this needs to be a nice clean jar so make sure you've rinsed it out and another top tip Make sure it's not touching the side of the jar as well, because that will muck up when the crystals start to form. So what we're going to use to actually make the crystals? Well, that's all down to salt. So we need to make a salt solution. In here, I've got 300 millilitres of hot water, so be careful with that, it is really warm. I like to prefer to use these, uh, these salt flakes, they seem to work best for me. You're going to mix in probably about 8 to 10 tablespoons of it, but do it in a few goes. So there's one two, about three first, and stir it up, stir it up. Now what you're looking for, just like the same reason you put sugar, when you put sugar in your tea it starts to dissolve, we're doing exactly the same with this. Stir it up in hot water and all that salt's going to dissolve into the solution. Keep going until there is no salt left at the bottom of the jar, that's now, and then uh, put in your next spoons. Now you need to keep doing that, just keep adding salt, stirring, adding salt, stirring, until you finally get some salt crystals that won't dissolve into the solution. At that point you've got something that we call a saturated solution because you just cannot get more salt into the solution. When you've got your saturated salt solution, which takes, as I say, about 8 to 10 tablespoons of salt, carefully pour it in to the jar, like this, all the way up, make sure it covers the whole of your star and also if you want just put in a bit of a bit of food colouring, blue looks good, a bit of blue food colouring like that, give it a little stir around and now it's down to patience, you've just got to wait. What happens is all that water in there starts to evaporate off and as the water evaporates off you're left with a solution that packed full of salt, in fact too much salt and the salt starts to come out of the solution and on this rough pipe cleaner surface it starts to form little crystals and those crystals grow and grow and grow and after a few days trust me you've got to be patient after a few days you get yourself a star that looks like that so there you go those are crystals of salt that have just grown and grown over time coming out of that saturated salt solution so have a go guys really interesting science dead easy to do make you know make a dozen or so of them and decorate your christmas tree with a galaxy of Christmas stars.